I want to kind of pull it into the JSU uh, side of it because we're watching Coach Prime documentary, you know, season two. I think it was like episode three because I did. Zoe and I sat down with uh, Pride of Detroit. Okay. They wanted to get uh, to yeah, know yeah, you. I saw, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. Was so great. so uh -huh. we're talking about it. And then when we see you commit to Jackson State, you know, grad transfer, one year eligibility, we're thinking, wow, linebacker depth, right? And I'm like, man, James Houston. Uh, this kid's going to be great. You know, we got Keontae, we got Aubrey Miller, and we're like, okay, we're just going to have depth. They look like they all play the same position. Right. Like, how are we going to figure this piece out? We don't get to see, because when we see you hit the field, you're, on the, you're off the edge. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> we don't know what, but then when we go back at the end of the season, we're able to see kind of people under the tent, the interaction, and how, kind of how you felt about it. Yeah. So I got I to gotta ask that question. I got to get your thoughts on it. Because now when you look, when you fast forward, you like, how monumental was that switch? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Play your whole life playing linebacker, you switch one year, have a crazy year, then you get drafted by the Detroit Lions, and everything we just talked about, boom. Let's talk about that interaction and how you felt about it yeah. then versus how you feel about it now. And that's what I say, like, my whole career has just been some crazy storybook. You know what I'm saying? Just like crazy, man. And right. um, I feel like every experience like has just shaped like who I'm supposed to be, mm. you know? And um, that was something that I really had to, that experience was something like, I, it changed like my whole perspective of the game just because I had kind of just thought like, this is who I am. This is what I'm finna come in here and do. And I just got to do it to the best of my ability and, and to, to get drafted. Mm. And, um, you know, coming in, it was tough. Um, they had their guys, you know, they had right. both of them guys and uh, they was trying to work me in, but it just wasn't working the way that they wanted to. And um, I could feel it. They could feel it. And uh, that's what that's what probably prompted the, the change. And um, they saw me blitz a, cup, a little bit. And, and uh, I mean, that's probably the best thing I'm good at uh, is blitzing. I, I can get into little nooks and crannies of the holes and I come with speed. And uh, so right. they decided, you know, let's put them on the edge. And um, that was, this is really during camp. You know, I didn't, I really, going into that first game, I didn't even start, <laughs> you know, so uh, switched my position there. And uh, obviously there was pushback initially. I was like, man, y'all tripping. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Like, <laughs> I don't know what y'all thought this was, but this ain't it. And um, right, right. <laughs> eventually I was just like, man, you either going to quit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you going to do what they say, you're going to keep playing football, the game that you love. Right. And um, I had already been through so much, man. It was like, I'm not trying to get this game up for nothing, you know what I'm saying? I know I could play, I know I could be on that field really wherever. Yeah. This is just middle linebackers where I wanted to play. And um, really that whole thing, that happened like week four, that little video. Oh wow. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm thinking it was prior to yeah, the season. Yeah, no, it wasn't okay. even before the season. I was okay. really like week four. Um, I had been doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? I had stayed quiet, I really wasn't saying too much. I was just going out there and just trying to do exactly what they told me. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they wanted to reward me in some sense. And yeah. uh, so they kind of, they, they gave me a package while I was at middle linebacker. And it was all three of us, me, Aubrey, and uh, Hemp back yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had a lot of control of, you know, what was going on in the defense. And uh, I was basically just kind of blitzing. I was there blitzing, picking my holes, slanting the line somewhere, and I'm picking a hole. I had a two-way go. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say every coach didn't like it, but a particular coach didn't like it. Um, he wanted me off the edge, that's it. And so, uh, yeah, we eventually, we had the meeting and uh, he sat me down and uh, he just kind of explained to me, man, like, I really believe you can make a lot of money here. And um, I don't, I don't want to see you go back to middle linebacker just because I feel like this is, this is something that is going to be for you. And uh, it's something that you do need to work at because when you get to the league, it's not going to be that easy. You know, um, it was a, it's a premier position. He was just trying to explain. He brought in, you know, guys to come in and talk to me about this. Wow. Like, wow. bro, like what you have is special. You have a special ability to get to the quarterback from the edge and you will be wasting your talents going back to, to middle linebacker. Uh, you will be wasting millions, you know? Mm. And um, it took me about a week to really, really accept it. Like, okay, like this is, might be my new position. And um, eventually I, I, I just completely bought in. I got, was with Coach Trevor and Coach Thurman and Coach Weeks almost every day after practice, just sitting there talking to them, chopping it up, figuring out what I need to do, how I need to get better. Um, and uh, they was really instrumental for me, just 
because they didn't they didn't try to control me too much. They knew I was very raw. Yeah. And uh, they was just like, man, go out there and play. Go out there and play. We're going to give you a little technical, the little small technical things that you could hone in on. But other than that, man, go in and play. Mm -hmm. And they gave me a lot of freedom on the field as well to do a lot of different things. Um, I was allowed to, you know, go inside almost any time that I wanted to. Right. And so um, it was helpful for me because I didn't really have too much experience, you know, playing like ball, really. Like yeah. I played, you know, for three, four years at Florida, but I didn't play. I never played a whole game like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, even in high school, like I played one year of high school, junior year. That's wow. really it. Wow. And so um, <laughs> I didn't really have too much experience and getting to Jackson and playing every down, every yeah. game. That was exactly what I needed. And um, I feel like it really helped me, especially going to a new position. It helped me understand the position more, help me just be comfortable.